So in this problem, we have the adjacent sides of a parallelogram. They are represented by vectors. Let's say we have a parallelogram. O A, B, C. Let us suppose that O A is represented by the vector I cap minus 2J cap plus 3K cap. And O C, that's represented by the vector 2I cap plus J cap minus OK cap. So, if we want to find the area of this particular parallelogram, so that will be given by We take OA vector, cross it with OC vector. So this is going to give us a vector. And finally, we take the magnitude of that particular vector. And that is going to give us the area. So let's do that. So first, we will find out the cross product between the two adjacent sides. So we have OA vector crossed with OC vector. So we'll consider a 3 by 3 determinant. So in the first row, we have the unit vectors i cap j cap k cap now following the order of multiplication in the second row we will have the components of oa vector so oa vector will be one negative two positive three and in the third row we have components of oc vector so that will be two one negative four so let's expand this determinant along the first row so we have i cap so we will use the 2 by 2 determinant, negative 2, 3, 1, negative 4, which can be obtained by ignoring the first row and the first column. So we have to cross multiply. So we have negative 2 times negative 4. So that's 8 minus 3 times 1. So that's, that's simply 3. Then we have negative j cap. So for this, we are going to reject the first row or the row that contains j and the column that contains j so we're left with a determinant 1 3 2 negative 4 so 1 times negative 4 so that will be negative 4 minus 3 times 2 so that is 6 plus k cap similarly we reject the row containing k cap and the column containing k cap so we're left with 1 negative 2 2 1 cross multiply them 1 times 1 so that's 1 minus 2 times negative 2 so that's negative 4 so we'll have positive 4 so when we solve this we get 5 i cap plus 10 j cap plus 5 k cap so we have the vector oa vector cross oc vector in order to find out the area what we have to do we have to take the magnitude of this final answer so that means we have to take the magnitude so our magnitude will be simply take the component, square it. Uh, let me do it here. So we take the component, square it, and then add them to each other. So that gives us square root of 150, which is also 5 times square root of 6. Right. So this is the area of the parallelogram. So this is square units. That's the final answer.